If you are out there and you are trying to get good at flipping houses, folks, I want you to pay attention, man. Get ready. We're going to learn y'all something today, boy. Woo! A client of mine is going to have me analyze this potential flip deal uh, for them. So all of the information I give today is going to be very uh, meaningful and strong for all of you out there flipping houses, right? This is currently a shot of the kitchen. That's what it currently looks like. This is our goal at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this entire flip, go through the whole process, explain things from the perspective of a pro, right? So some things that uh, you guys might be doing, making some mistakes out there. We're going to work you through that. Make sure you don't lose a bunch of money doing your next or your first flip. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you. Become a real estate investor, or if you already are a real estate investor, I'm here to help you become a better one. Now, today's show is from my man, JJ. JJ is a house flipper investor, new to the business, living out in Los Angeles, and he's flipping houses all the way out there in Cleveland, Ohio, okay? This particular deal, JJ, this is an off-market deal, right? You're doing some work. You're hitting the ground. You are finding properties off market. Number one, good job out of you. Folks, if you're going to be flipping houses, you can do so off the MLS, but the real money is usually made when you flip off market properties. Now, before you get all excited, like, ah, dude, I'm part of this off market property group on Facebook. That's not what I mean. Folks, if somebody's up, uh, pitching you the prop property it's basically on the market okay no 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 the real money is made when you are soliciting sellers i.e you're sending them letters you're cold calling them you're reaching out to them you're driving for dollars you're knocking on doors right you got to reach people that are not marketing their houses to you that's a one a one because you're going to make your money on a flip when you buy right so you might be like yo jay wise how do we find these sellers well don't worry folks i can help you find the sellers anywhere in the usa right here prop stream okay this is mls like data for the entire country, the entire United States. So if you're in L.A. flipping houses in Cleveland like my man J.J., PropStream will help you. If you're in L.A. and you're flipping houses in L.A., PropStream works for you. If you're in New York City, yeah, PropStream. Austin, Texas, Boise, Idaho, Tallahassee, Florida. Don't matter, folks. It's got the data. And then you could target uh, you know, the types of uh, people, the types of distressed sellers that are more likely than not to sell their property at steep discounts, right? People getting divorced, people facing foreclosure, uh, non-owner occupied properties, right? Tired landlords, okay? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate, folks. And the biggest thing, the biggest moneymaker in my business, right? We do it all here. Property management, maintenance, construction, insurance. I've owned title companies. I still own title companies, insurance co I've, I've owned a lot of stuff right this one time i went through the process of like uh going over like how many different streams of income i have and it's something like 13 or 1400 separate streams of income that i have in my uh, various amounts of businesses folks but the number one money maker is reaching motivated sellers okay so prop stream will help you do that after the show during the show whatever you want to do click the link that i've provided and get yourself a free trial and guess what if you decide to use it going forward you get a lifetime discount because you're a holton wise tv subscriber so that should take you to the point where my man jj is at finds himself a house off market nobody else is uh bidding on this thing this is just for him and i know everybody out there is like oh <gasps> But it's on your show. Now everyone's going to see it. Relax, folks. I sent these videos to you guys when we work one-on-one. -on -one. I send them privately. This show went to JJ probably six months ago privately. They only get released on Holton Wise TV after the fact. So this thing is long gone or not long gone, whether or not the deal was good. We're about to find out, right? Uh, but there's no snaking happening, okay? This isn't 
public. It's not like JJ's got to worry about all you folks out there in internet land watching it. But this is the house you found, brother. 3171 West 114th, Cleveland, Ohio, 44111. Now, you're interested in flipping this thing. You have it under contract with the seller for ninety five grand. You're hoping to resell it for hundred forty five grand, right? So that leaves you with a spread of fifty thousand dollars. And you want to know kind of like a rough estimate of how much it's going to cost to do what you want to do. And I'm sure you probably want to know if your comps are reasonable. Yeah, I think 145 is a reasonable comp, okay? And you want to take the exterior of the house, right? You show me this picture, and you like to make it look like this house, right? You like to give it a little love, do a little work, clean it up, okay? All right. Next, this is your kitchen, right? I put this at the top of the show, right? This is what your kitchen currently looks like. You want to bang it out. You want a luxury kitchen. You want to make it look like this bad boy. This is a beautiful kitchen. I will give you that. That is very, very nice. So you're going to go from point A to point B. Okay. You want to take your bathroom that looks like that. You want it to look like this. Understood. Uh, you gave me a shot of one of the bedrooms. You want to turn your bedrooms into this. Okay. That's what you want to do. Uh, so you want to know, is this going to be a good deal? Is this going to pencil out? No. Absolutely not. This is not going to pencil out. Uh, to do the rehab you want to do, right, to take your level of craftsmanship and your level of quality of your property from here uh, to here and the various photos I've showed you, uh, there ain't no friggin' way you're doing this deal. You only got a spread of 50 Gs. And I think that is like the biggest mistake new house flippers are making, right? Uh underestimating how much it really costs to do these renovations like in the business i feel like there's always books out there and gurus out there and everybody's always talking about like you gotta beat up your contractors get a better price from your contractors <laughs> those people ain't living in the real world they ain't living in 2022 man contractors oh boy dude there's long lines to work with contractors no 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 uh you'd be lucky right you'd be lucky to get contractors to do this job for you for probably like 50 or 60, right? Probably 50 or 60, right? And let's not forget, your entire spread is only 50, right? 95 is what you have it under contract for. 145 is your uh, target resale value. So you only have a spread of freaking 50 Gs here. And you got to remember, when you actually sell it, you're going to get like another, I don't know, 10000 or so in closing costs and sales costs, right? So with this one, uh, if it costs you 60 and then you factor in, uh, the sales cost, the 10, and you did sell it for exactly what you're uh, hoping to sell it for, 145, you'd drop, you'd lose $20,000, right? So obviously this wouldn't pan out, right? And here's the second, second thing people make a mistake doing when they try to flip houses. They overpay. They don't understand just how cheap you really need to make it, right? So your big issue here would be your acquisition cost of 95, right? You'd have to pick it up for, in my opinion, 75 to break even, but who the heck wants to break even, right? So you'd really need to pick it up for, like, 55, right? But then comes your next issue, uh, which is I think you're really, like, shooting for the sky here trying to over-improve a property that's got a ceiling that's going to be kind of low based upon the neighborhood comps, right? Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is you're really trying to stick a round peg in a square hole. Flipping houses, trying to resell to owner occupants in this particular neighborhood it's a it's a no-go the spread's too small the ceiling's too low bro you should be focusing on areas uh where the arvs are a little bit higher than this particular neighborhood because here's the thing my opinion for you to pull off a reasonable profit like 20 g's you got to pick it up for like 55 right but there's probably other people that would be willing to pay more than 55 for the property, right? Because that would be a very cheap, affordable house. And there's people, a lot of houses in the neighborhood, where the level of quality of the property is more in line with this. You would be greatly over-improving it by what you guys want to do, right? So there's, like, you would be making the mistake of thinking, like, every other buyer out there has the same criteria and numbers in their mind, and they got the same $60,000 rehab in their mind, and they want it to look like this. Not the case. There is, like, probably zero properties in this particular neighborhood that would look uh, to the level of quality that you guys are shooting for. So I don't think you have a deal here. I don't think you should spend any additional time on this. I think you will make $0. This one is a dud. You dudes need to move on. Now, 
everybody else out there that watched this show, I hope you enjoyed it quite a bit. And if you are trying to flip properties and you need assistance or you're trying to do any type of investing in the Cleveland market, folks, we are here for you. You could click the notes below to book a free call and you could find out how you can work with me one on one, just like my main man, JJ, has done. If you guys have flips in other markets, I will analyze them for you in the same way. Uh, try to shoot you in the right direction. And if you want to go one step further and actually do them in the Cleveland market, my team will handle the renovation, maintenance, construction, insurance. And then lastly, if you want to do it all on your own, I think that's great. I'm here to help you. Keep watching the show and make sure you get that data from PropStream, folks, if you're trying to reach motivated sellers because that is where the key is to making money in this business. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.